Hey chums! We are at the Magic Kingdom today. They have started their Christmas celebration. So we're here to check out the holiday decorations and to see if we can find some holiday treats. The park looks great already. Just from uh, just from looking behind us, you can see there's a tree and they have all the garland and all the lights that are gonna come on tonight. I can't wait to see that. Uh, but before we begin, subscribe to this channel now if you have not already. Go ahead and smack the like button and hit that little bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. Let's go explore. So today starts off in Main Street and this is usually where you're gonna find most decorations for any of the holidays. And it is pretty decorated over here. So they have this tree over here that is very tall and very festive. It's got candles, it's got gingerbread men, it's got everything all over it. And we have some decorations over here. So the park definitely looks very decorated, at least in this area. Oh, that's cool. The base of the tree is even just made of presents. Yeah, that's, really cool. that's fine. Okay, so as we continue down, and it doesn't look too bad today. Oh, and it looks like we have some sort of like um, mini parade coming through that we're gonna get to check out. Soldier. The band with the toy soldiers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year. Happy Thanksgiving. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. So fun. Yeah. These are cool too. Look at this. We have uh, these little wreaths up here. Yeah. A little Mickey decoration with the fruit on it. Like this. These are called, it's just called Dapper Day. Oh, it's Dapper Day right now. Oh, how cool. I didn't even know that was going on right now. Yeah. That's fun. <laughs> So as we continue down Main Street, it's just, it's so nice this time of year. We have the candle and the wreath. The Dapper Days, we didn't even know about that, but look how nice. I, I don't know if I could do that, honestly, because I feel like there's really no graceful way to get in and out of rides, so I really can't see myself wearing a dress and gloves and being all delicate getting on and off of Space Mountain. Inside, yeah. yeah, especially Space Mountain. I imagine that people dressed like that are probably just walking around and enjoying Disney and probably not really doing too many of the rides. It's a really cool uh, concept, though, to just have a day where everybody dresses, you know, where you, you can participate in and dress up like that that's really cool yeah i mean i would like to do that sometime now that i know about it i just don't know if i would because i always want to ride rides when we come even though we've already been on them a hundred times i still enjoy them every time that oh, i do absolutely <laughs> if you've seen any of our previous videos you see that we were talking about how it's gotten a lot busier and we feel like they increased capacity and it turns out that they did increase capacity. They didn't really, Disney didn't tell anybody. No, I think they kept it pretty quiet. They were running at 25% capacity and they bumped that up to 35, kind of hush hush. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we, we noticed last time we were here that the parks were a lot busier. Um, but. The, uh, the good news is that we are about to start getting our park hopping back. Modified park hopping. Yes. Yeah, so in January, they're going to let you use one of your reservations to book a park, and then you just add in which park that you would like to go to later in the day. But I think that it's gonna be sort of like controlled movement. You can only go after two o'clock to the other yeah. park that you're going to be going to. Yes. So that's going to be starting up again in January. So even though it's not, you know, do whatever you want, it's still exciting that at least we're getting a little bit of that back. 
but I'm still waiting to see what they're going to do with these fast passes now that it's busier. Yeah, there's still no fast pass uh, access, but hopefully. And no word on that. No, no word yet. Hopefully, whenever they up the capacity again and we start approaching 50% capacity, maybe then we will start seeing the uh, fast passes come back. Yep. We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> There's some decorations around the Country Bear Jamboree, and there's Chippendale. Our first festive holiday snack of the day is going to be the pistachio chai tea floats. Which, which is we melting got. all over It the is, but I'm gonna try to eat it quickly. Oh, that's good. Mm. Comes with a cake pop too. I got this from um, Aloha, was it Aloha? What's this place called? Aloha oh. Isle, there we go. Yep. <laughs> Couldn't think of it. Aloha Isle refreshments. Our next stop, the Sunshine Tree Terrace. Yep, and I got. What did you get over here? Orange Bird Christmas. It is orange mousse on top of a little cake. It looks like it's probably a pound cake of some kind. This little candy treat here, this little orange guy. Let's give it a shot. This looks like it could be good. Oh yeah, look at that. It just kind of cracks open. That's so good. Yeah, absolutely love it. That's great. I'm a big orange fan, so this is kind of like it is, and I think it is a vanilla powder. There's some vanilla custard in there too. Take a look at that. So we've got orange and vanilla. If you look on the spoon, you can see it too. Yeah, that's so good. You know, one thing I'm a little disappointed with this year is that all of the Christmas treats have gluten. Last year, when I wasn't even eating gluten-free yet, they had a gluten-free cake, the Olaf cake. And this year, they didn't do that. So I'm enjoying watching Adam eat the Christmas treats. <laughs> There's some decorations over here by the Jungle Cruise, which right now is the Jingle Cruise. So, we actually haven't done the Jingle Cruise before. We heard that basically what this is going to be is the Jungle Cruise, except they're going to be telling jokes more toward the holidays. Yeah, it should Holiday be. Oriented. Yeah, but it's cool because inside of here, it's decorated. They have candy canes and ornaments. So it's nice and festive over at the Jingle Cruise. Even the boats have different names. The boat right here has been changed to Reindeer Ruby. Yeah, so they changed stuff over to uh, kind of match the holidays. There's another Christmas tree over here. They turned into a Christmas theme too. This case has letters to Santa and Mrs. Claus, a gingerbread man, a notice for a holiday party, more decorations on this side of the queue. Yeah, this is really cool. And the sign over there, what does it say? Jingle all the way. Jingle all the way. 
Yeah, yeah jungle all the way. <laughs> It's starting to get dark out and I love looking at decorations when it's dark out when everything starts to light up. So we're in Tomorrowland right now. We're going to do Space Mountain and um, over here at the Galactic Gateway everything is all lit up. I love it. And I believe that this puts us right where we need to be. I was going to say this is where the line for Space Mountain begins too. So that's oh. Perfect, that worked out. Well chums, we're almost ready to wrap things up, but not first without showing the decorations at night now that everything is lit up because it is beautiful. Yeah, Main Street around this time of year always looks so nice. Yeah, Love and it. they're not doing any type of um, fireworks or anything. But they do have this really pretty overlay over the castle. Let's go ahead and get a better look at that. And that's it. That is gorgeous. Yeah, it looks great. Yeah, that is actually there's parts of this overlay that are moving the stripes this is just a closer view of the castle so that you guys could see the amazing detailing on this projection it's it's really cool it's nice and you see parts of it moving over here now that we're a little bit closer to it so that's pretty awesome and what better way to end the night than looking at this beautiful scene right here. This is still magical, even with everything going on. And then, you know, like we showed you guys earlier, we did see some other stuff scattered throughout the park, like the um, transforming the jungle cruise into the jingle cruise. So, all right, guys. We're going to leave you with this vision. And if you are new to our channel, go ahead and subscribe now if you haven't already. Smack the like button, hit the little bell icon to receive notifications every time we upload a new video. And until next time, we will see you guys at the parks.